Hello, Gemini and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your weekend read for um, September 13th, 14th, and 15th. So guys, if you're currently subscribed, I just want to thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I do give away uh, free readings every month, and I give away tarot cards and oracle cards. So the winners are always announced on your monthly readings, okay? Uh, so please be sure to click that notification bell so that you are notified when those post so you can see if you've won anything. Um, now, I am taking personal readings. It is $10 off your first reading with me. The information can be found in the description box below. Um, the deck that I'm using today is the Radiant Wise deck. It is one of my all-time favorite. It's like definitely top three. Um, I have over 83 decks, and uh, about 72 of them are listed in the description box below. They all have Amazon links in case you're interested in purchasing, okay? And guys, if this resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate, simply not your message, okay? These are collective readings. They're specific messages. If it resonates with you, great. You know, if it doesn't, please don't get upset. It's just not your message, okay? So, Gemini, I'm going to be reading you on this side, your person on this side. Okay, um, if you have to switch it, twist it, reverse it, that's fine. It's a general reading. However way it resonates, you can place that into your life, okay? So Gemini, starting with you, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, okay? So there may be someone, you know, in your life that is generally not your type. Um, Enjoy uh, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. They're normally not your type, but maybe, you know, you enjoy traveling with this person, going away with this person, or maybe they like to travel and you're not used to it. You know, it's an option too. Um, we could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So I feel a very stable, grounded, committed energy here. But I also feel that you're very undecided, that you're very undecided about something. You haven't, you see here, there's two wands. One is bolted and secure, and the other one isn't. So this is telling me that even though I feel that either you or your person are very loyal or grounded to the situation, um, you guys still aren't 100% sure about each other. Now, we have honeymoon, enjoy the ho the bliss of holiday time together. I feel emotionally, someone here is very guarded, okay, very guarded. And um, I'm, I'm sensing that what keeps you guys together is traveling, doing things together. Like, I feel like you guys get on very well as friends for some reason. This is just, I don't know, you know. Um, I feel like you guys do have a, a soulmate connection, but for there's just something blocking this. You know, yeah, some maybe someone here is emotionally unavailable or emotionally cold because someone here is either, you know, Gemini, either you fear that you're gonna lose your person, or you fear like you feel like you're always being left out in the cold. You're being left out of something. Maybe this person is just emotionally disconnected and it makes you feel left out in the cold. But then again, you know, there is that soulmate connection there and you guys do enjoy traveling. You guys do enjoy going out with your friends and doing things together. But, you know, I feel like even though you're loyal and committed to it's a committed relationship, I feel like you're really still undecided because, you know, emotionally this person just isn't quite there, you know, and it makes you feel really left out. Now, on your person side, we have you deserve love. You are lovable, okay? And we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I'm feeling here that perhaps Capricorn, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, Gemini, your person feels like, um, you know, 
the way they they need to be loved, they may not be getting that from you and they feel like they have to fight for every little thing that they want to make them happy, Gemini, okay? And yeah, because you see here, they have to fight for their happiness and, and Spirit is saying, you know, you deserve love, okay? So, you know, your person, Gemini, may have to fight for every little thing that they want or need in the relationship, and I'm feeling here that, you know, this person, your person may, you know, may be getting distracted by somebody else here because they're not paying. This is might be why you're feeling left out in the cold. You know, this is you and they're being distracted by something over here on this side. They may be thinking about, you know, taking a leap of faith and starting a new beginning with someone else that they feel more compatible with. Um, we have the strength card here. They may be, you know, taming their emotions towards taking this leap of faith, but they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Um, what we have here is the Queen of Wands is the overall energy. So someone here is, you know, the, the Queen of Wands is Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo energy. It's also a representation of the other woman or the other person or an outside entity. Um, there's, there's someone here in the middle that's very sexy, that's very appealing. Um, and I feel like that's who, if you look here, oh, wow. Okay. So I just noticed this. So let me just show you what we have on the board here. I wish I could like put the camera this way. Okay. So we have the King of Cups and, and this person here, they're like this, right? And the Queen of Wands is in the middle. So someone here is being distracted and emotionally they're looking at this person. Do you guys see that? They're both looking at this person. Okay. Now here we have you sitting here looking at this relationship. And you see while he's looking away at that other you know, person or she's looking away at that other person. Gender doesn't matter here. See, he's looking at the other person and you're looking at the relationship. You're trying to focus on the relationship. So there's actually like a distraction happening here. Yeah. I'm feeling that, you know, yeah, there's a lot of uh, communication. I'm feeling maybe a little bit of strife happening here. Um, because someone is trying to decide between lovers. We've got someone here. Again, we have, uh, you know, Cancer Pisces energy here. This is the, the high priestess. This is someone, if we're looking at it uh, on a man's perspective at least, this is someone, a woman that he's infatuated with that he feels like he cannot have. This is someone unattainable, okay? Um, so you know, if, if you're in a relationship and you're, you're, you're distracted by an outside person, you may feel like you cannot obtain that person. You know, you have to kind of wait to ask them out because you're in a commitment. You know, you're, you know, some of you may be married, but this is a very deep commitment. This is living together. You know, this is Taurus energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, so some, you know, you have to wait to ask this person out because you're, you, you know, you have, you can't do that. You know, you're trying to, you know, this person may be trying to do the right thing, but there's, there's obsession here. There's a lot of sexual obsession here. Yeah, see, the outcome here, we've got a Ten of Cups situation. So for some of you, you may be married, you may have a family, you may be living together, you may be in a very deep commitment, maybe even engaged. But then we have the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands, again, someone very sexy, someone very, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, outgoing. Um, again, you know, wands is a representation of, you know, passion. So we may have a committed relationship here. And then we have that third party person on the side, you know, looking in on the relationship like, Hey, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, someone here, their attention is somewhere else, Gemini. And, and they feel, your person feels that, you know, the, the reason why this is happening is because your person feels that they just have to fight for their happiness with you. And this could be vice versa, Gemini. It could be you that feels that you have to fight for your happiness with your person and they're the ones that are distracted. You know what I'm saying? But, or, or you're being distracted because of that, you know, but someone here is feeling very, you know, neglected. Um, but from what I'm seeing here, if we keep this as you, Gemini, and this as your person, you're feeling left out in the cold. You're feeling rejected. You're feeling hurt because your person is, you know, obsessed with someone outside of your relationship. And it's happening because um, 
you know, they're they're very confused and they're tired. They're tired of having to fight and bicker over whatever they, however way they need to feel loved. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's happening here. So Gemini, if this resonates, please be sure to like. Um, if you would like more clarity and guidance on your own personal situation, you could always book me for a personal reading. It is $10 off your first reading with me. And please don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Take care, guys.